What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am back after a bit of a hiatus. My efforts to start this channel got shut down pretty much before they ever even got started. Uh, I had a lot going on, but um, I wanted to get a proper setup, at least halfway decent setup going before I really started trying to do this. Didn't want to half-ass anything. Uh, but anyways, point is, I'm ready to go. I'm back, and I am ready to start talking stocks. This video is going to be... Just a quick AMC recap for the day, what went on with AMC. I'm gonna look into the, the Ortex and we're gonna look at the Stonco Tracker information. But before we get into that, I wanna talk about what I got coming up. Um, like I said, I've been gone for a little while, so I've got a lot of things, a lot of ideas that I've been trying to work on that I haven't quite started yet, but uh, I've got a whole bunch of videos that I'm planning on coming out with. I'm gonna be uh, get a recap of what's been going on with rvp i've got a couple stocks you know i made a video on rvp when i first started this uh a while back i think it's up around 30 percent from the time i made that video so i'm gonna have that video coming up um i also have a another stock that i'm in that i'm really excited about that i think has a long way to run it's already since i entered the position June 12th or so, I mean, July 12th, I think I'm up 290%. So, and I just got a long way to go. So I'm gonna be making a video about that. And just other stocks uh, about my my chart setup, my technical indicators, my stuff that I do, stuff that I look for so that when you're watching my videos, you understand what I'm looking at on my charts and why. So if you are interested in any of that stuff, if you wanna, wanna learn more about the kind of things that I'm doing with these indicators and the RSI, the KDJ, which I don't, you know, not very many people use this KDJ indicator. And I think it's very, very underrated indicator. Uh, I would highly suggest looking into that. Um, and when I put the video out, watching that video, because it's done me a lot of good since I started using it. So before we get started, if you uh, are interested in any of that stuff that I've got coming up, as well as just lots of other things and actually learning how to, how to, trade stocks and not just looking for somebody that's going to tell you what to do and when to do it then um, go ahead and consider subscribing and looking out for that content um, and if you like this video go ahead and drop a like on it at the end so that being said let's go ahead and jump right into this so going over here to the ortex data for the day um, short let me get this quick refresh just to make sure we're looking at it right Short interest today actually up quite a bit, 4.76%, 5 5.28 million shares borrowed versus 628,000 returned. Now that would have been the price action from Wednesday. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday with the T plus two. So that doesn't surprise me at all. We had a decent day. I mean, a decent drop on that day. We were actually down about five and a half percent on tuesday so that doesn't surprise me what i'm interested in seeing is how these these numbers change playing out over the next two days the days where we've been trading sideways and having slightly green movement so you're looking at short interest of about 15.69 percent estimated and a free for free float free float excuse me on loan of 19 percent so if we go over here to Stonker Tracker, uh, I was looking at this earlier. They, <laughs> they, they, they pounded their available available shares there towards the end of the day. Uh, it started about twelve thirty. They had around half a million, which is right about when we started getting getting hit pretty hard. If we go back over to the chart here and go to twelve thirty. it's pretty much right where this all pretty much began for this bleed for the rest of the day they they blocked our breakout here and then just smashed it down every single attempt at a breakout from that point on they dumped shares i mean all the all the candle bars for the volume are huge on these candles that are, are in all in all other instances are normally gonna lead to breakouts but we already know how it goes here at amc so yeah, as you can see, they used up most of them, only 75,000 available by the end of the day here. And uh, whatever's happening, let's see what's going on here in the after hours. Uh, it was down and 
it's still down so you know they're probably burning through the rest of those shares you know good for them good for them um so what i want to talk about is for tomorrow going into tomorrow into tomorrow if you go over here to the one hour chart uh you know i mentioned this on my stock twits account earlier this morning i i I, I could saw I saw it going down to the thirty eight dollar area, but I didn't really think they'd be able to do much past that. I mean, it's a pretty solid to at this at this point. It is pretty solid and proven point of resist. I mean, of support for us now. I mean, it goes all the way back to these. I mean, one, two, three wicks here for uh, support. I mean, resistance, support, 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 support. You know, so I think we're good. I think you you may see a little. A little slap down below i mean i'm sorry i said 38 i meant 37 to 38 um 3750 ish to 38. uh they tried to slap it down earlier today and it bounced right back up i think tomorrow leading in tomorrow you might see a similar thing they, they do it every morning they, they smash it as much as they can they smash it as much as they can they smash it as much as they can they try and see how far they can get it before anybody starts buying or they can just scare people out of buying to begin with now if they do if it does manage to break below below this 37 and a half dollar area you're looking at 37 to you know 36 and a half to 37 dollars in this range right here you know if you go back and look here you know a little support there where you could slide it up a little bit 36 and a half to 37 every 50 cents is the way that this game is played at this point in time you know every 50 cents to a dollar round dollars are a little stronger <clears throat> but every 50 cents to a dollar is support and resistance and that's how we got to look at it uh, but overall the, the bottom for now is looking to be 36 and a half bucks so and if they if they if they manages to get the price down to that point at any point tomorrow you're gonna be looking at at pretty oversold territory pretty bottomed out kdj and it's going to be ready to swing back up i mean they they this we're in a steady pattern of higher lows you know starting all the way back here when it was 31 bucks we're, we're higher lows higher high uh higher lows higher highs higher low and we're just tightening it up here tight 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 but still higher low higher low higher low higher low all the way up over here on the four hour chart um you can you can plainly see that support that i was talking about um and we are obviously in a in a wedge pattern and I'm, I, I really like the way that this is looking uh, every single test of this $40 area has come from a closer point you know we, we this is the importance of building a base you can't just rip up and then come in and expect to rip back up and then you know this is all gonna act as support in the future when and if we end up back up here you know the tighter this gets the stronger that that support's going to be back here on the 15 minute chart uh with the extended hours off um as far as extended hours you know the what you hear people saying about extended hours not meaning much amc is pretty much the epitome of extended hours trading meaning nothing i mean you can hardly tell the difference here in this chart with the extended hours off so i like to go go by um extended hours off looking at the longer term picture here on some of these um analysis of this amc situation uh we are pretty much dead center trading back and forth of this move from here to, to here maybe even slightly towards the top half of it which i find to be pretty bullish moving forward um if you look at the rsi it's already way down here at 36 and the last time we were down here in this area the price was a two dollars lower so it's it's a clear pattern and i am looking for this to turn around at some point i expect of course at open tomorrow the same nonsense or pre-market after hours movements maybe they open up maybe we open up down here at 37 and a half 37 37 and a half but i expect this same type of deal you know down and then swoop right on back up just like it's done this entire time you know uh since this reversal began a couple weeks back so the levels i'll be looking out for pretty clear every dollar 40 you got 41 
Oh, well, now you got 41. And you got the major one here at 42 and a half to 43. But like I said, every 50 cents, until we pick up some volume, until we pick up some volatility, it's going to be every 50 cents. They're going to be a pain in the butt. But I think tomorrow you can see a lot more action, a lot more volatility, and I'll tell you why. I mean, I don't like to put too much thought or, you know, weight on the option strike price. You know, that, that gives the open interest in, in strike prices. It gives too much expectations for people going into the Fridays of the expiration dates. But that being said, 22,972 open interest at the $40 strike right now on the call side. Uh, that's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, a lot of money wanting that to be at $40 or higher by close tomorrow. On the flip side, you've got puts. The closest you're gonna see is all the way down at 30 bucks now there's no, there's no i don't want to say there's no chance in hell but there's no chance in hell that these expire in the money so this is this gone money's gone money's gone money's gone now they're going to try and salvage as much as they can i mean 35 dollars is still a tall order that's still nearly you know eight nine ten percent eight eight or nine percent down from where we're at now so that that's a tall order for them to push down that far tomorrow alone i find it much more likely with the scenario we're in, the, the the chart pattern we're in, the situation in general, I find it much more likely that tomorrow we, we see some sort of test of that of that forty dollar area again. And like I said, every time we test it, we've been coming in from a closer point on the chart. What am I looking where oh this is no wonder. Okay, that <laughs> okay. Let me go back. Why is it showing me the options chart? There we go. That's why it wasn't making any sense. So I expect us to see another test of that $40 area pretty soon. Sooner rather than later. Uh, maybe it's not tomorrow. Maybe I'm wrong. Volume's been so dead. Uh, any kind of increase in volume could get this really moving. That's, that's what I think. Anyhow, all in all, over the next week, two weeks, I do expect a push a nice push up to the $50 or 53 or more dollar area you know there's a lot of gaps to be filled a lot of gaps to be filled in this chart and uh, if you don't understand that I'm gonna be working on a video here also hopefully put it out tonight or tomorrow about filling gaps what it means how you can make money doing playing the charts that have gaps that need to be filled big moves big gap ups and big gap downs um, so if you want to want to see that when it comes out make sure you subscribe check uh check that out when and look for that when it comes and um that's about all i got i don't want to take up too much of your time here today i will do a uh, my, my plan is to to have updates every morning before the market opens maybe a midday update for around lunchtime for people that can't focus on it all day long and just want a 10 5 10 minute update during the day that gives them all the info they need i want to start doing that every day um like I said, before market open and during the day. Uh, and then we'll go from there. On the evenings, I'd rather put stuff together that has more substance, um, you know, and, and stuff maybe about other stocks and other trades, opportunities that I see. So if you're interested in any of that, please subscribe, like the video if you like it.